guys, it's Kip Fragrance back again with another video. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. I'm doing very fine. And in today's video, we're gonna take things uh, a little bit differently. We're gonna take a different approach. Um, I'm gonna call these videos uh, the individual series a little bit more intimate. I think because the fragrances that I like to review in this series, um, they're going to be special to me, number one. Um, I know they're gonna be um, at least mass appealing, um, but also unique, okay? And so I'm gonna try to also keep um, this to a, a very minimal you know, time level so that you can enjoy the video and get an impression on you know, what's it like. And so I'm gonna make this a very special series for you guys to watch in the IG platform and also on YouTube. So I'll be able to post on both um, for, you know, for both, um, for both platforms. Anyway, I'm gonna start today's fragrance review with a very, very special fragrance. Uh, it may not be in the season that we're uh, currently in, but I think that I couldn't even talk about the season that I'm currently in without reviewing this one first, okay? The fragrance I'm reviewing today is by a company named Olfactive Studios. Olfactive Studios has become a very, very um, near to my heart uh, fragrance uh, house. Um, I, I think they add a beautiful touch, soft touch to every fragrance that they make. And they have amazing perfumers in their lineup and I think not only uh, are their perfumes great, I think their presentation is on point. I think they, you know, they put a lot of thought into it. They put a very, very nice touch on their fragrances. Uh, I couldn't talk about fragrances in this season if I didn't talk about this one first, specifically from the house of Olfactive Studios. And this one was my summer go-to. This fragrance is Flashback. Okay guys, this fragrance is a freshie for sure. One thing that a fragrance has to do for me in order for me to, you know, love it, um, it has to make me feel confident, good, um, and that I will not get tired of smelling throughout the day. This fragrance for me lasts eight hours plus, which is fine in my book. Anything over six is great in my book. And um, the other thing that I can, you know, say about this fragrance that um, that would make you check it out, I think, is um, is that it has notes that uh, no one's gonna get offended by, but it's still unique, where you won't smell like anyone else. And I think you will smell apart. You you will be set apart by the scent that you carry. And this fragrance does it for me. It projects about a foot to two feet. Let's not talk about projection, let's talk about the fragrance. And this fragrance has notes of rhubarb, grapefruit, and orange, okay? Very citrusy, beautiful opening. Uh, in the middle you have pink pepper, Granny Smith, and in the base you have vetiver, cedar, amber, and musk. Who doesn't, who couldn't like that? I think those notes are the reasons why I love this fragrance. It's a very freshy, uh, no wonder it became something that I gravitated to all summer as you can see by the By the use I gave it. I you know, I'm halfway there uh, And summer was only three months and you know, I have a lot of fragrances and for me to go to that all the time uh, It definitely made it super simple for me to just be addicted to it for the summer time uh, Not that I wouldn't wear it now either, but I you know, I definitely gravitated towards this fragrance a lot this summer. I think that was on account of the green notes that the rhubarb and the grapefruit, just kind of the tart notes there at the fresh opening. Um, you have the pink pepper that just cuts through the air and projects. And you have Granny Smith just to, you know, take that tartness and add a little bit of sweetness to it. I think it's more fruity for to my nose, but um, it just makes it sweet. And then you know, the two top notes that I, you know, smell throughout the fragrance is the vetiver and the cedar. Any combination of this uh, done right is just gonna make me love it. And uh, I think that's why I love this fragrance. That's why I'm recommending it tonight. Um, it does make me feel confident, great. Um, 
and actually happy and joyful. Uh, this is one of those scents where, you know, I feel playful, I feel joyful, I feel like sharing, I feel like moving around, I feel like, you know, maybe even venturing out to a new place when I smell this fragrance. Uh, the fragrance perfumer for this one is Oliver Cresp, if you're wondering, uh, if you care about any of those things. But um, love this house, love this fragrance, love the notes, uh, love the presentation. I am never ever getting and getting rid of this fragrance and thought you should know about it. All right, guys, comment, like, and share below um, for more fragrance review. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my next individual intimate series video.